guys, it's Archie Luxury on the Paul Pluto channel. Today I'm doing review 22 QB6. This is for Chris. This is a husband and wife collection. He wants to know, remove five and give me your five favorites. Now he sent me a picture and it was pretty low res. And I said to him, please, 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 please give me a full list of what the hell you have. I said, I can see the pictures, but I, I really want a full list of models, so I'm not guessing, trying to work out exactly what you have there. So uh, without further ado, I wrote to him, he gave me the answer. De Hello Archie, long time follower and supporter. Wish you the best for your future. And believe the day will come where you will be able to fully capitalize your knowledge and legend status. Thank you. I'm 50 year old cosmetic physician and have been collecting watches for the past ten, five to ten years along with my wife who is equally enthusiastic about the hobby. We love both modern and vintage. I also have a large collection of special editions, Seiko's Casio G-Shocks and Swatch System 51s. We have also collected what we love and tried to avoid the hype train for the most part. Our collection is quite diverse and one of our initial goals was to create at least one watch from the most popular brands. We're still trying to achieve this in good time. We are at a good point, we are at a point where we want to get rid of five existing watches and buy other brands, Fasheron, Paddock and JLC. The collection is quite large and therefore pick your five favorites and your least favorites. Most of the pieces were bought before 2020 except for a few Panerai happen to appreciate the brand's history and style. We have worked hard for everything we have and feel very privileged to be in a position to enjoy this hobby passion to the fullest. Here is a list of our watches. Feel free to talk about as many or few of them as you like. So the list is quite long, so, so let's commence. Let's go through this. He's got an Audemars Piguet Royal Oak 15500 ST black dial. That's steel. <coughs> That's one of the hardest to get watches. Bought these two, his and hers, in 2020 at market price before they went crazy. That's the his, that's the 15500. And the hers is a 15450 ST silver dial. Now, the funny thing is the hers can also be a men's. It's 37 mil and it's actually a lot of guys find it a perfect size for them as well. But a lot of ladies do like it as well. So the funny thing is the 15450 was originally in the AP catalogs in the ladies section, but hey, Let's leave it there. Next, we got is an AP26170 ST, bought in 2017 at market price for 15,000. So, what is that? That's a that's an AP. I think that's a Royal Oak Offshore. You know, this here is a quite a the Royal Oak Offshore Chronographs Offshore Chronograph. Look here, did it, did it, yes, offshore. Okay, beautiful, beautiful, <clears throat> beautiful. Then we've got AP is our favorite brand, so three <coughs> APs. Then we got a Rolex 116618 LN black dial yellow gold 2018 retail 39,000. That's the his. We got a Rolex GMT Master 2. B L R O 2018 for 17 and a half, another his. Rolex Daytona, double one six five two zero, that's the pre-ceramic. 2020 market price, 27 hers. Vintage Rolex Submariner 5513, 1971, Berthier, his. Vintage Submariner 5513, 1969, purchased from a friend who needed money. 8,000 in 2020, hers. We've got a Rolex 18238, that's a day date, double quick set, uh, with Spanish writing, 36 mil, 2017, 12,000 US, that's a hers. 
Rolex 114200, that's a Oyster Perpetual, 2017 at 5500 Canadian, hers. Omega Speedmaster Professional Moon Watch Sapphire Sandwich, 2019, retail his. Omega Seamaster 57 Automatic, 2022, market price Canadian 7000, his. Omega Seamaster Professional Diver 300 White Dial 2020 at retail his. IWC Big Pilot 43 2020 at retail his. <coughs> An IWC Portuguese Automatic 7 Day Power Reserve 2019 at retail. A Tudor Black Bay 58 Blue 2020 at retail hers. Tudor Black Bay Heritage Burgundy 2019 at retail his. Cartier Tank Solo Quartz hers. Cartier Ball on Blue Two Tone 36 mil hers. Pam. Um, Pam 1045 2020 at retail. Oh, you should have got that a bit cheaper. Pam 927 2022 retail. Oh, don't like this retail shit. Pam. 1248 2020 retail champagne. Pam Lumina Mana Mana Marina Lumina Marina 312. We've got a Doxa Sub 300T Aquanung at retail because I love the story and the place in history. We've got a Brightling Super Ocean Heritage 2 Chronograph Blue, his Brightling Navy Timer 1B01 Chronograph 43 mil Blue, his. Brightling Super Ocean 44 mil his Brightling <coughs> Navy Timer Gold Steel Gold and Steel 38 mil hers Tag Heuer Caliber 5 hers Tag Heuer Monaco Caliber 11 his Iris Big Crown Pro Pilot Day Date Gun Metal his and a Frederick Constant Chronograph with date Special Edition from Daily Watch because I'm a big fan of the channel his I hope. I included a summary, stock photos with my own photos, poor quality. None of my peers know of our collection and they will likely think we are crazy. We're keeping it on the low and low for the most part. This is our weakness, but can't help but appreciate the workmanship, history, beauty of these. What else can you can buy at this level? Sent you $100 Canadian on PayPal to make up for the size of the collection and the fact that it's a his and hers. Cheers, Chris. <coughs> Thank you, Chris. So... What would I ditch? What do we ditch? Ditch, 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 ditch. That's a very good question. Getting my red fountain pen out and we'll, we're gonna mark up this baby here. So firstly, the Frederick Constant Flyback Chrono with date. I would fuck that off. I hate that brand. I would also say the Doxa Aqualung. Fuck that off. That's, I just get rid of that. I would also say the Tag Heuer Carrera Caliber 5. I would piss that off. I would also piss off the Oris Big Crown Pro Pilot. That's, I would piss that off. I'd keep the Monaco, keep the Monaco. Uh, I would, I would, what else is there? So you wanted me to ditch five watches I I reckon shit this is going to be hard so I've got the Frederick Constant flyback chrono we ditch that the Oris Big Crown Pro Pilot <clears throat> the Tag Heuer Calibre 5 and the Doxa okay what else would I ditch <coughs> I would ditch what else would I ditch um that's a good question there um I would probably say I'd probably ditch one of the Pams you decide which one. I'm not going to leave that up to you. We ditch one of those. So that gives us five. Okay, so that's five watches. 
Now, what are my favorite five? Yes, very good question. So I would say the five, the 15500, I absolutely love that. I love the 15450, absolutely love that. I would also, I like the Black Dial Submariner, the Subby, solid gold Subby. I love the pre-ceramic Daytona. Who doesn't love those? I also love, now this might surprise you, I love the Omega Speedmaster Professional Sapphire Sandwich. I think that's a beautiful watch. So that is actually my top five. So the top five watches are the AP15500 ST Black Dial, the 15450 ST Silver Dial, the uh, solid gold sub with the black dial, the Daytona, pre-ceramic Daytona with the Rolex movement, and also the Speedmaster Professional. <clears throat> what other things do I like? Let me tell you what else I really do like here. I like the other AP. I like that. I think that that is a good piece. I like the GMT Master, the BLRO. I like the Speedmaster 57. I actually like the Big Pilot. I think they are quite sexy. I like the Big Pilot. I like the Ball on Blue for her. I like those. I like the Tudors, the two Tudors. You got the 58 and the Burgundy. I quite like those. I like the I like the um, the caliber 11 the Steve McQueen I quite like that so there we go guys that's what I like and dislike tell me what you think guys so <coughs> this is a big big collection there that's what now you might be disappointed you might be disappointed with what I said because Obviously, those some of those pieces there aren't going to bring a lot of money in, but you're a doctor. Yeah, you're a doctor. You're a physician, plastic surgeon, cosmetic surgeon. Um, yeah, I mean, come on. You asked me the questions. I've, I've answered it. Uh, that's, that's, that's the way I feel. That's, that is the way I feel. So, I'd like to hear the viewers. What what are they? Th I think I think it's a nice collection, beautiful collection. I'm glad to see your wife in it. I think it's always beautiful when you get your wife into your hobbies, and I think that's so cool. That's so cool. That is so cool. It's very cool. Yeah, it's very cool. I reckon that is so cool. And. Why not give it a squirt? Give it an absolute squirt. So, well, well done. Well done indeed. That's what I can say. Well done indeed. So, uh, yeah, I reckon that is quite, quite a collection. Guys, like, subscribe, and tell your friends. Remember, I can't survive on Google Ads. I need more paid reviews to keep me full-time on YouTube. Without your support, I can't survive. I can't survive without your support. So please get a paid review done. And remember, you can also sponsor me on Patreon. Patreon allows you to pay as little as a dollar a month to keep me hanging on, hanging on, hanging on, hanging on to YouTube. I will see you in the next one. Hi guys, it's Archie Luxury. Guys, I want to talk to you about David SW. David SW, David SW. Guys, if you are in America, if you are looking for a Rolex watch of your dreams, in fact, if you're looking for a contemporary modern wristwatch, I strongly advise you to look at David SW. Guys, don't play the dealer games. Don't bring in chocolates or Krispy creams for your dealer hoping to get a Rolex at retail. It's futile. Please, guys, save your dignity. Keep some pride. Go to David SW. I would highly recommend 
David SW, David SW. If you're in America and you're looking for a watch, go to David SW, David SW, David SW. Hi guys, Archie Luxury, and today guys, I'm very proud to introduce a new sponsor of the Archie Luxury and the Paul Pritter channels. Who am I talking about? Watchshopping.com, watchshopping.com, watchshopping.com. Check them out, guys. Jump online, check out watchshopping.com. These guys here have been in business since 2017. Worldwide shipping and distribution. Over 10,000 wristwatches in inventory. Stock in hand and 90 plus different brands, new and pre-owned. Now, the good thing about watchshopping.com, trusted by over 4,000 reviews on Chrono24 and Trustpilot. Your one-stop shop to buy any watch your heart desires. Please, guys, check out watchshopping.com, watchshopping.com, watchshopping.com. I'm Archie Luxury, and check out watchshopping.com.